This is Five on Your Side at 6, focused on you. Tonight, we've learned the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is testing for radioactive contamination underneath several homes in Florissant. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Kelly Jackson. Mike Bush is off tonight. The agency believes there could be contamination from radioactive waste in an old creek that's buried beneath a subdivision. The Army Corps is focused on six homes in the Cades Cove subdivision. That is just north of Duchenne Park and Florissant. Five in your side, Justina Cornell is live with the latest on this. Justina. We were in the neighborhood this morning and we saw contractors on site and in action and they said they were in the process of testing basements. We had no idea that um, there were any remedial talks or works of um, contamination that had been found even close close to homes. Concerns of contamination in the Cades Cove subdivision along Cold Water Creek. The contamination is radioactive waste from the building of the first atomic bomb. We did stop and talk to a neighbor and she said yes, that there was uh, some contamination they found in um, underneath some homes. Advocacy group Just Moms STL co-founder Karen Nickel was surprised to learn about the soil data sampling underneath six homes in the neighborhood. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said there was an old creek covered up when they built the ground for the subdivision, which makes the contamination deep. And I get that there's a, a level of privacy, but you don't have to disclose where those home, homes are, but you can at least let the rest of the community know because they've been asking. One of the homeowners tells me for the past few weeks, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been asking to test inside her basement to drill holes at least 12 feet below the ground. She said the agency had already been testing in her backyard for the last two years and found contamination all the way up to the foundation of her home. If I was living on top of radioactive waste or any contamination for that matter, I would want to know and I would want the ability to be bought out and have our families moved out of that circumstance. Beyond the homes, Nickel worries for their health. We do want them to know the dangers and the risks and that there are people out there right now that, that care about them and that we're here for them. Just a few hours ago, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers actually sent a news release talking about their efforts at Cades Cove, and they said right now they're planning a community meeting for anyone to speak up about their concerns. Reporting live, Justina Cornell, 5 on your side. We have an